Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the scholarship network. Hope you all are doing really well. Before starting the video, kindly check the topic list in the description. Everyone wants to complete his or her degree from Europe. However, as you all know, study in Europe is very expensive due to its level of education. Uh, but Germany, which is a European country, provides free education in almost all fields. Some other countries like Norway, Italy, uh, Luxembourg and uh, Finland, Austria are also providing free education in coming future. I will upload the video on these as well. Uh, but now it is the series on Germany. In this series, we will cover each and everything from beginning till end. Every year, students apply from all over the world, but many students make basic mistakes and uh, that is why they didn't get admission. Today, we will discuss these points as well. This video is also available in Urdu and link is given in the description. Uh, basically, there are uh, different categories of studying in Germany with respect to tuition fee. Germany announced number of scholarship every year for the candidate across the world. That scholarship is considered as one of the biggest scholarship offered by Germany. Uh, but the terms and conditions to qualify for this scholarship are very rigid. That's why um, a lot of candidates uh, uh, can't make their way to fulfill the eligibility criteria for this scholarship. Uh, let me mention one main cause of that scholarship. Uh, it says you uh, can be eligible to, for apply uh, uh, in that scholarship if you have completed your recent degree two years before the application date. It means you are a freshly graduate, you are not eligible to apply for this scholarship. Thereby, mostly candidates apply for the free education in those disciplines where tuition fee is waived off and all other expenses like accommodation, traveling, medicine, um, uh, these type of expenditure will be borne by themselves and the candidate are provided with some specific working hours so that they can earn money uh, for their daily expenses let's come back to the main topic here we will discuss some major uh, steps that must follow if you want to free study in germany first we will tell you the step then we will discuss each and everything about these steps including how to apply in uh, university and in university um, and for deferment for different type of things first step is to apply for appointment how to apply for appointment we will discuss later in the video second step is to do IELTS third step search is suitable uh, program and check the requirement four step is to apply in university or in university in my video I also cover how to uh, uh, how to make account on Unisys, how to operate it and how to uh, apply for VPD and other things as well. And fifth step is to prepare your document and sixth step is to open a block account and a, um, and a um, block account. And seventh uh, one is prepare your document for visa. And these are the steps for Germany. I will explain every point in detail so let's go to the uh, computer screen start from the first step i have no idea about appointment in other countries but in pakistan first of all you have to apply for an appointment in islamabad for the study visa if you are a native of a kpk or a punjab province then you should apply for the appointment even before ielts uh, because the waiting time is recently extended to minimum 12 months. Uh, it means you have to wait a year to get uh, your study visa. But if you are from Balochistan or Sin, then no need uh, to apply one year before. Now, how to apply for visa? The link for this is also provided in the description box. First of all, you have to open the link. Choose the category in which you want to apply. If you want to apply for a study or work, then just click on second one. Uh, third option is recently launched by German Embassy. This option is for master students as well as those who have more than 3.8 CGPA out of four in Pakistan, according to Pakistan, not uh, according to the German grades. 
However, second and third option both have same procedure for apply as you have to register yourself for study visa. Click on the continue button uh, below the registration to apply for the study and work visa. After clicking on continue button, a page of terms and conditions will appear like this. As you can see, these are basically the instruction and conditions for candidates who want to apply for study visa. You can read them as well if you want. Now scroll down. You can see a button of new appointment here. Click on uh, that button. Uh, a new tab is open here before filling the form please keep in mind that all information must be entertained in uh, entered in uh, latin letters and fill up your first name last name email id citizenship mobile number also select the visa category as we are applying for study visa we will select student in the visa section uh, keenly select the priority uh, choice if you are going for a phd then select this post structural category if you are going for a master degree program then select this third category waiting time for master degree program is minimum 12 to uh, 8 to 12 months and if you are going for a bachelor program then select this fourth category of non-priority waiting time for bachelor's degree program is 10 to 14 months uh, enter the above mentioned text and uh, now click on the submit button right after clicking on submit button you will receive the email telling you about the passport number waiting time for the appointment and the reference number for the waiting time Sometimes candidate get an appointment for the study visa when their admission letter is expired. In this case, you can defer your admission from summer to winter or from winter to summer. This is possible only if university intakes two batch per year. How to apply for deferment? I will upload a video soon, inshallah. Uh, if the university intake only one batch per year and you got the appointment, then uh, best option for you is to go for a German language course. Find and uh, apply for a, a German language course on that.de and on the basis of that language course, a study visa will be issued to you. Uh, after completing your language course, you can continue your classes in German university. How to fill the language course, uh, how to find language course on dat.de kindly watch my next video after applying for uh, appointment you will appear yourself for IELTS exam. IELTS is mandatory if you want to apply for any scholarship or free uh, study uh, without IELTS you will not eligible for any scholarship in Germany even in Europe. There are a lot of universities in Germany where you have to pay for tuition fee. In these universities, IELTS is not mandatory. Rather, you have to provide an uh, English proficiency certificate from your native university. After IELTS, you will ap apply for the admission in German university of your choice. German university intakes two batch per year. Uh, their first intake is in March and second one is in October. The deadline to apply for both these sessions is different in the next. Uh, we will discuss about uh, best suitable website where you can apply for the scholarship in Germany. Uh, one website regarding this is that the this is best to find uh, scholarship. The other one is my UNESCO. Inshallah, in the next video, we will discuss about these website, how to find different courses and how to apply uh, for uh, admission. If you have any query, feel free to comment. I will try my best to assist you. So wish you all the best and Allah Hafiz.